Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my spoiler free review of The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. This is the first book in a adult epic historical romance and it takes place during the Second World War in Russia, specifically in Leningrad. It follows our main character of Tatiana who is a young girl, she had just turned 17, right as the war is breaking out. So first off let me say that this book is kind of a giant book that's broken into four parts tonally. There's kind of like four distinct sections to me. It's not broken up that way in the book so it's not actually broken into parts in that way. There are like I think three like separate books technically in this book but it isn't broken up the same way that I think of it. So we have one section at the beginning of the war, we have one section during the hard part of the war and during the winter in Leningrad, and then we have the spring and summer following that, and then we have like another winter. First off, let me talk about the world building. As I said, this is a historical fiction and it takes place during World War II in Russia. I think the world building was the strongest part of this book. I love the world building, especially in that second part when, during the winter in Leningrad the devastation and the brutality of what was going on during that time in Russia is something that I don't feel like we see very often. We hear a lot about different other areas of the war but this specifically is so devastating and so like incomprehensible to me that this stuff actually happened and it's hard to read at times but it's so completely interesting. And just the same way that All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr was really eye-opening and devastating to me in a lot of ways and that took place in France during World War II, this is like 10 times that as far as the devastation that happened there and it's insane. So that part was really interesting to me. Just like the historical stuff and the war stuff was super interesting. I thought it was really well done. Next let me talk about the characters. The characters are probably what I struggled with the most in this story. I struggle a lot with the characters. All the characters actually. So the main character of Tatiana starts off as a naive person. She is younger so it makes sense that she is naive but she gets really grating and frustrating for a good chunk of the book. This book is over 800 pages so although character development does happen it takes a long time. So you do have at least probably 200 pages of her being pretty frustrating, pretty naive. You kind of want to shake her a little bit and that kind of continues throughout. She's also a character that I think you're going to love or hate. Personally, I prefer my protagonists of any gender, but specifically females, to have some agency. You know, to be able to make decisions for themselves, to stand up for themselves, and she does that a tiny, tiny bit, but I don't even think she does it in a way that really makes a difference because when she does do that you're still frustrated with her for like the decision she does choose to make out of the few that she does choose to make. So she's somebody who's walked all over a lot. She is selfless in a lot of ways which is a really redeeming quality about her but it's to her detriment and during a time when you need people to have a survival instinct it's almost like she has none a lot of times and it's really hard to read about protagonists which doesn't really care for themselves and only cares about everyone around them. It's really frustrating. But she does go through a lot of character development. I liked her a lot more at the end of the book than at the beginning, but there's still things about her at the end that I didn't like at all. As far as the love interest of Alexander, he is the character that got worse for me as the story went on. I like aspects of him as an individual outside of the relationship, but this character should not be a romantic hero at all. And since this is a love story, we have him being portrayed as this romantic hero and he's a very flawed person and that's understandable and that's totally fine. I enjoy flawed humans but when you have him as a center of a romantic love story that is just depicted as this ideal soulmate situation it's icky. So first off Alexander is a lot older than Tatiana. He is 23 I believe when they meet and she is 17. Even by the past standards I don't think that's okay. I think there's too much of an age gap there as far as her being still a teenager, still technically a child, and him being an adult. There's also this weird power balance because he's a soldier, he's an officer actually in the Red Army which is the military there, and she is still also just a civilian and a teenager. So there's a lot of things happening there. And then as the story goes on, at first he starts off just being kind of protective and it gets worse as the story goes on. He's pretty dishonest. He always kind of blames things on her in a lot of ways but he also does stick up for her but it's always depicted as like him saving her. I don't like these kind of like savior plot lines. I know they're very popular in romance but as far as her needing to be saved all the time and him saving her and being depicted as this guy that's saving her. Uh, and then as the story goes on there gets to be a lot more emotional abuse and even some physical abuse towards the end. So I am not ever okay with that. I was kind of okay with him being a little bit questionable and I was like okay I'm willing to 
have it be a sign of the times and that things have changed since then and you know relationships are a lot different then and they're in a really dire situation that no one should be put in blah 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 but when you start physically abusing somebody not okay I don't care how mad you are I don't care how frustrated you are I don't I don't care about any of that so that very much bothered me and it really made him a non-forgivable character for me and also their relationship in general is very toxic and very unhealthy it's unhealthy and it's codependent and it's she replaces a lot of things that she had with her family and just kind of replaces them with him as far as an unhealthy relationship with her family with an unhealthy relationship with Alexander so mm -hmm. speaking of her family Tatiana has a very large family they all live together in a communal living space in communist Russia so you get to see her family a lot but all of these side characters family included are extremely flat and that is so frustrating I think these really long books really benefit from having very well-rounded side characters and her family especially is very flat very one-dimensional one note people and they don't have any kind of redeeming qualities about them so I also want to warn you guys as far as some abuse within the relationship there's some abuse within her family so if you're sensitive to any kind of abuse physical emotional whatever probably not the book for you but there is some family abuse happening and although yes I understand sign of the times different cultures stuff like that still something I want to read about still something that made me very uncomfortable and again we only saw her family as this abusive family so when she's saying things about how she loves her family wants to save her family I know everyone has that even if they are abusive but you need to see some renewable qualities from her family and you don't really get any of that so I made the things that are going through as a family things that I couldn't even really relate to because I didn't care about the family whatsoever. Also some side characters outside of that we have some villains as well and all of them were flat one-dimensional predictable people. We had a lot of the same kinds of people repeated a lot and just you know the same kind of person different names and that was just really frustrating because again I like my villains to be a lot more well-rounded I like them to be a lot more realistic and while this character was realistic it was still one of those characters that you know what they're gonna do before they do it and you know the kind of problems that are they're gonna arise from this person and it's just kind of like I'm sitting here and I have 800 pages of this and I kind of know the direction that's going to happen with this villain and stuff so that was really disappointing. Lastly the plot like I said I enjoyed the elements of the war and stuff but a lot of this book dragged a ton so we have like I said those four kind of separate books and all of them kind of being totally different and not extremely well paced at all honestly. There's a whole section in one of the parts that is mostly all sexual activity which I am fine with this is an adult romance I understand there's going to be sexual content in it but it doesn't need to be for an entire like 200 pages of just that really like it really slows down the book it bogs it down it makes it so you're just like I don't even care this is happening it's just too much and it really messed up the pacing of it and again just the part that I enjoyed the most and flew through the most was the war parts but everything else very slow very just why are we having all these extra details this book could have been half the size it didn't need to be 800 pages it for the story that it told it absolutely did not need to be 800 pages it was 800 pages to make it seem angsty to make it seem drawn out to have the readers be on their seats and I just feel like that kind of plays the reader and just manipulates them a lot and I don't like being emotionally manipulated by what I'm reading so I didn't enjoy that it set it up to be long and drawn out just for the sake of being long and drawn out and it went in circles a lot too we have very similar plot points being repeated over and over and it just gets really frustrating we have a lot of miscommunication here which I hate like it's okay to have a little bit of it but again too much of it just really bogs the story down it just makes it so like you're just keeping these people apart for the sake of angst and it's not believable anymore a lot of the reasons these people were kept apart for the majority of the story don't even make sense to me and they still don't I was waiting for them to be kind of like redeemed and there to be more to that and there just wasn't <sighs> I'm going to go on and on about this but I did not enjoy this story and this is a trilogy which I will not be continuing I will not suffer through two more 800 page books of flat characters and toxic relationships and a story that walks in circles around itself I refuse to do it. So in case it's not obvious I gave The Bronze Horseman 1.5 out of 5 stars and that 0.5 is only for the historical elements. I did not enjoy it. I understand a lot of people do enjoy it and I do get that personally not for me. I'm going to be doing a great video on this because I have a lot to talk about. I took a lot of notes while reading this when I started to see it's going downhill for me. I knew the notes were coming out so I'll be talking about this at length in my great video so I will link that on the screen but Yes, definitely not one for me, not what I was looking for in an angsty romance. No, no. So comment down below and let me know what you thought of the Bronze Horseman. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!